All right, part three of beats. So we're going to make a beat and sort of talk about the different elements of the beat. So we have our kick drum, our snare drum. Let me go ahead and figure out. Something was muted. So we have our kick drum. Kick drum is sort of the foundation of our rhythm. It's gonna be something that really holds the rhythm down. The snare drum, the snare drum is gonna help with the feel of our rhythm and it's gonna determine sort of where the kind of the backbeat or the emphasis of the beat is. We have our hi-hat and again, so the hi-hat sort of ties the bass drum and the snare drum together and it's used to either keep solid time or to provide rhythmic, like a nice rhythmic accompaniment or um, kind of like a nice rhythmic uh, accentuation. Uh, Hi-hat can be open or closed. So we have that open closed. Our clap, a clap functions very similarly to a snare drum. Again, it's gonna help show us where the accent in the beat is and what kind of beat. On our 808, we have a conga. Um, the conga, it's going to provide just a little, just a little bit of spice for our beat. It's gonna give it something kind of interesting. It would be similar to a tom-tom. So it's not the most important part of the beat, at least not for, you know, a lot of Western beats, but um, when we get into like, more uh, um, like beats from South America or beats from Central America, the conga would play a much more pivotal role as it's one of the traditional instruments from that area. We have next the cymbal. So the cymbal is a nice color. It's used um, in a similar way as the hi-hat would be used. And that is to sort of give the framework of the beat as well as to add color and um, provide sort of an accent for larger time structures. And then lastly in our beat, we have the rim. So a rim is gonna be like the snare drum. It's gonna be a little bit softer um, and it's almost like it can be used as a snare drum or in our beats, it's probably gonna be just giving us a nice variation to the snare drum, almost like an additional hi-hat or something like that. So. And again, think of these as just sort of different colors that we can use. Um, and the main sort of instruments and important parts of the drum set are gonna be the kick drum, the snare drum, and the hi-hat. So you could have a beat just with a kick drum and a snare drum, or just a snare drum and a hi-hat. But usually, yeah, you're gonna have the kick drum. So those are kind of the, the three primary colors of our drums, if you wanna think of it like that. So let's go ahead and create a quick beat. Right now we have our 16th note grid up, which is fine. So let's just go ahead, let's put bass drum using quarter notes. So we can hear how that sounds. Right now I'm using the fader to turn up my volume on this kit so that you guys can hear me speak. Let's go ahead and add our hi-hat on eighth notes. So right now I just put a 16th note in here, two 16th notes. Now here's where we get to decide where we want to have the strong part of our rhythm. If we want it to have kind of more of a halftime feel, we're going to put our snare on beat three. If we want our song to have more of a pop or rock kind of feel, we're going to use two and four. And again, if we want to get even further, 
we want to get into maybe a faster rock feel, we're going to use what's called the backbeat. It's called the backbeat because it's on the second part of the beat. So it's on one and, two and, three and, four and, and you'll hear what that difference makes. What's nice, like I said before, the bass drum sort of gives us a nice framework. The hi-hat is sort of outlining the time and the snare drum is providing that accent that really tells you what kind of beat it is. Now we can hear this uh, along our other kits. So there you go, a nice explanation of the, the different drums we have and some of their different uses.